This is a quick update for the Eager Mud One project, so I can post this video on the GitHub page. I did a few updates to the log page. Eager Mud One, I think it might be even Eager, uses structured logging, logout in JSON, so that you can take the JSON, import it into a HTML page, and use uh, JavaScript to write out easy to read logs. So this is this is the logs here. A couple things I've added. I added a border on the uh, the event that happens, and I added some hover magnifying on the event that happens. And also, these events were previously logged as just the PID, and it was if you wanted to find out what the PID was, say 254. Sometimes you could figure it out from here. So player describe giant, you can see 254 describe 264. So okay, so the player is 254 and the giant is 264. But sometimes you'd have to go over to the log, mouse over, and I've added a highlight to see what the PID is and the PID IDs. You can see that 272 is race 1, and you can see that this race 1 is the object that has is running, is was I guess this is a, a success event. So it was logging the success. But if you want to find out uh, what the player and the giant are, you might have to go looking elsewhere. So instead, I found every place in the events where it has a PID, and I before I start drawing out the um, the event or the log messages, I went and found all the matches of a, of an ID and a PID and put them in a dictionary so I can find them and put what the ID of that is of that PID over top of it. So that makes it much easier to see what's going on. So the player is describing the giant with Pete. This is the context: Pete and an arrow. So things will follow that arrow, and you'll know that they belong to Pete. Um, and so you can see the original message still. 254 describe 264, but you can also get a, just a hint on what's going on, which is very helpful. Also, um, let's see, I updated the code on the um, which handler is running. So, and I added a mouse over. There's a nice CSS hoverable. So if you hover over something, you can get it's a sibling element that has a hover label tag. That I invented those terms for myself. And then you can show this. You can see this hint that's popping up. Uh, no rules module if it's NA. Uh, if it says uh, no rules module, or or it says I fixed up some of these, so they're they're nice. So, anyways, yeah, there's a hover thing on that. There is a hover on the blue and green dots. I think the white ones as well. Um, so it'll tell you that blue is an attempt, green is a success. And then I fixed up this the log hover. I turned it to a hoverable. I used to be doing JavaScript to update the CSS, and then highlighted what the PID, the PID ID, and the uh, PID icon, anything that starts with PID. So you can just quickly see what uh, what the uh, the PID of the object that logged out this message was. So yeah, um, hi, uh, magnify on hover, add a border, put in the PID IDs, put in some uh, hover tool tips, and make the logs a uh, larger font and easier to see. Although I can see here that this one has so many properties that they're running off the edge of the page. So might need to do something there. So there's an update for um, uh, Eager Mud 1, the reference mud for the Eager Mud project running on the uh, Erlang Graph Rules Engine, Eager. And we're making updates to it six days a week from uh, 5 to 7 Pacific Time on Twitch under the handle LULU58E2. Not 582, but 58E2. So love to have you come and chat and ask questions about um, eager if it's you know if we're still doing that when you see this video.